Hey guys, and welcome back to Fight for First, uh, the show, kinda, where we go and we try to get ranked first on Special Ladder Battle Spot, which is VGC tier. So, so far we're doing so good. I think we're 16 and 5. We're gonna find out right now. Um, have some really awesome news, guys, that I think we're all gonna really enjoy. My Kingdra is no level longer level 46, so, um... That means we won't look as scrubby as we did last time. That's really important in, uh, you know, especially on when you're putting yourself out there on the internet. It's better to not look like you suck. It's okay to suck, but it's better to not have a level 46 Kingdra and suck because you deserve it. Um, so I just went, got some rare candies, leveled it up. I think we should be good. Yeah, we're 16-5. So, we're going to I'm trying to break that 1700, so I want to get in there. Uh I think the top is still 19 something, so um it'd be amazing if we get at 2000, but that's like that's redonks up there. I'm on, you know, we're playing around here, so still have Mo Rotom, got that Maw while. Um definitely don't want to run into another Smeargle like we did last time cuz that is never a fun matchup. It's never fun unless you have like, you know, that safeguard meow stick. Let's see how we do here. Oh, an 1850. Okay, we gotta gotta get our game face on here, guys. Let's see what do we got. Okay, very standard, very Japanese. That's gonna be special Agi Slash. Um, that means the Mega's Mawile, unless he's got two Megas. Probably Banded Talonflame. Um, Rotom's probably Citrus, honestly. Special Titar, and that. Is that Lumberry Garchomp? Probably. Okay, how are we going to get around that? My rain matchup isn't too bad, except for he does have the Rotom Wash. Um, so I'm going to lead Rotom. Motom. Motom. And I'll lead with Pytoad. Honestly, Kingdra gives me a pretty decent everything here. I'm trying to decide between that and Talonflame for this matchup because I'm pretty sure I want to bring Mawile. Well, no, 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 no. Well, shit. I got to get rid of that. Uh... He does have his own Mawile. Lucario's not coming to this matchup. That's for sure. Um, do I want Talonflame, though? Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'm going to bring... Um... It's either Talonflame or Mawile or Kingdra. I gotta bring two of them. I, I don't know. I have a gut feeling like Kingdra, since I leveled it up, is gonna be clutch. Mawile could be good, but so could Talonflame. Okay. Brought Talonflame on the pure, pure hunch that it's special T-Tar. If it was physical T-Tar, the Intimidate support in this matchup would have been huge. Um, please be special T-Tar. I really gotta get rid of that Rotom Wash. Um, that's my main goal. Like I said, my road Motom has been um, EV'd to outspeed and then one-shot raise, especially defensive calm Rotom Wash. So I feel pretty confident. Oh, he didn't leave with it though. Okay. All right. A lot of them run sub on their edge slash. Do I want to mess around with this thing? Um, I could start hurting it with Thunderbolt, or I could put a Will O Wisp on it in case he. He's not got King Shield yet. I don't want to waste. Let's not waste the opportunity to hurt it with a Thunderbolt. I am Scarf, so this Ice Beam should do decent to this uh, Garchomp. So let's go with that. Okay. Tyranitar? Is that Bangiras? That's Bangiras. Okay, so here comes the Sand. That means Pyto's going to have to go out soon, especially because I'm locked into Ice Beam. I wonder if he's going to know. He probably doesn't know that I'm Scarf yet, though. There's a Thunderbolt. So he's going to come to an, out an attack right now. Shadow Ball. He's going to get rid of Polito. That's his smartest bet. Damn. Damn. Okay, that's why that did so much. I was like, bro, what the hell? All right, anytime an Azure Slash is in... You know attack mode it's definitely going to switch um so he's definitely going to go he's definitely going to protect or switch out there the thing is 
if this thing is, if this Tyranitar is special or physical, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp it. Hopefully he doesn't go for the Fire Blast and KO me. So that would be cool if that doesn't happen. Um, let's see here. It, I think his best bet is to Rock Slide, so I'll send a Kingdra instead of Talonflame. I ate that like a champ, though. Ugh. But this Agile Slash is scaring the shit out of me. That's ridiculous, dude. You would have died. What are you doing? He has Mo Rotom, so I need to keep... I mean, he has Rotom Wash. He must. That must be his fourth. That's why he wants to get rid of this thing so bad. Um, is my base Kingdra going to outspeed and KO? Here comes Politoed. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot. I don't run Muddy Water. Well, great. Well, freaking great. How fast is Bangaras? Let's see, what is my Kingdra running? What's speed-wise? Should be max speed, which hits 150. That's faster than that, than that thing should be. So, um... I can go for the Hydro Pump. I don't know, is Agislash switching out? If I get rid of Tyranitar, I leave the, I leave the rain up. Let's go for that. Okay, that's going out to Garchomp. Okay, come on. If this Agislash is really just going to sit in here and just destroy my team, it's really picking everything apart. I should have Muddy Water, guys. And Muddy Water here would kill the Agile Slash. I just didn't breed it. Well, someone traded me this, and it didn't have it, and I was too lazy to rebreed. Oh, thank God. Please don't miss Hydro Pump. It'd be, like, really chill if you don't miss Hydro Pump right now. Like, really chill. Like, we'd be such good... I... F fuck! Okay. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I freaking knew it. That could very well be the game, because if he had Sash or Yachi, I'd get the KO right now. Oh, thank God that killed. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. So, guys, in retrospect, Mawile would have been a way better pick here. Um, yeah, I don't want to lose my Polytoad just yet, but I might not have an option. Oh, jeez. He's definitely going to rock slide here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Ice Beam, I'm gonna protect. Shoot. If I'd hit that Hydro Pump earlier, this would've been so chill. I'm just, I, anything I switched in is gonna die. Oh god, this is not the position you wanna be in. Especially not when he does that. No, what is this? Oh god, he has his own Talent Flame. Please tell me you like Dark Pulse into Kingdra or something. Or freeze, that'd be cool. Oh god. Oh! So far, so medium. So far, so medium. Um, what does this mean for me? I can... Can I use my back two to win this game? No, I can't. I have to keep Politoed around. Um, I can switch and Rotom. And then Talon Flame. Okay, let's try that. I mean, I don't. Um, his his Garchomp in the back and not having Muddy Water does two things to me. It means I gotta keep my Politoed intact to KO it because I really don't have anything else for it. But I also need to not lose two of my Pokemon. Like if I get down to only two guys, 
he'll be able to out rotate me and beat me. Um, he had to. I thought he was gonna brave bird into that polytoad spot, knowing I was scarfed. Oh jeez, what a call! What a call! Um, now that does put him into. That puts him into Skull range. Um, it comes down to whether he's Jolly or not, actually. This is going to be really interesting. This is actually going to be really cool. Because I'm going to send out my... Uh, well, I could send out Kingdra. No, I'm going to send out Politoed. Um Oh my god, this is going to be fun. Here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. I don't have a lot of time to, to, to talk this through. Two options here. Polito can fire off a Scald or a Hydro Pump. Scald will finish off either of these two, but it will not do... It will do at least half. I don't know, I'm at 19 IVs um, to Garchomp in the back. So if I fire off at Tyrantar and he protects and then he switches, I could be in trouble. Now if I fire it off at Talonflame and I double up on Talonflame and he doesn't protect, then I'll be in the best position possible in case he protected and he switches to Garchomp. However, if he just goes out, I have to win the speed tie with my Talonflame. So I have to fire that off there. Is Tyrantar going to stay in an attack? Or is Tyrantar going to switch and he protects with Talonflame? I don't know. Um, Brave Bird into Talonflame. Scald into Tyrantar and hope for the best. Because I have to win the speed tie. Okay, he withdrew there. So far, so good. So far, so good. Because if I can keep my three guys intact, I can get Polito back out here. And I break the Sash. I go first. I'll take out the Talonflame. The Scald might put Garchomp within Brave Bird range, because I am banded. Um, I know it does about 60%, 60 to 70, depending on the Garchomp, that's going to do it. Depending whether this Tyrantar can survive this hit. Okay, this is big. Oh, this is big. Can that Tyrantar survive? Probably can. But I don't have any options. What if he protects? No, if he protects Garchomp and I lose Talonflame. No, if he kills, then I lose. He's gonna protect, um... Is he gonna protect Garchomp? Is he gonna protect Garchomp? I would. If he protects Garchomp and I double up on, Ty and on Tyrantar, I get the KO and I get the win. If he doesn't, I lose. Is he gonna protect? I think he's gonna protect. Protect. Yes, okay, okay, please do enough flipping damage. Please do enough damage together, guys. Show me your strength. Don't kill yourself. That's how you play the game. Damn. Damn. So clutch. If he attacked right there. Now here's the thing. He either had to make a prediction whether I was going to attack the Garchomp or not. In all honesty, the smart, like the obvious move is to attack the Garchomp because I guarantee myself the win with a faster Kingdra in the back as long as I don't miss Hydro Pump, which I would have. He needed to do that and he needed to kill one of my things in order to win here because he knows that my Brave Bird and my faster Scald can kill him. Now here's the thing. Is he going to go for a double protect and try to style out Politoed, he might, so I'm going to get rid of the sands, switch to Kingdra here, because um, I know I'm faster with Polito, Polito, no matter, matter what, what, go for a Brave Bird, and, 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 and um, I mean, let's say, I mean, let's say it's like a quick claw on the or something. something. This is solely to make sure that I don't die from sand with Polito. Yeah, he went for the double protect. If he landed that and I took the sand damage, I could have lost, theoretically, well, it would have been tough, because that would have needed to take a lot of damage with Talonflame, but there's the rough skin. What was the item? Not even Rocky Helmet. I don't know. Could have been Sash. Could have been anything. Um, so, yeah, Talonflame's going to kill itself. Oh, man. That was a good game. Um, Talonflame really, really came through there. So, that was good stuff, actually. Probably more helpful than Mawile in, you know, the way that it turned out. Missing the Hydro Pump always sucks. I told you guys. I was like, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to miss this Hydro Pump. I knew it. I knew it. And I did. Hit the second one. Killed the Agi Slash. Went through it. Like, the thing is, you got, you got to win that weather war. So, as soon as... The thing is with rain, too, is it's like... It's so it's like super effective against the two main other prominent weathers. So, when they switch in, you're still going to do a good 
you know, chunk of damage. Scarf Toad outspeeds. You know, the Ice Beam is going to one-shot Garchomp if, you know, he's not Yachi or Sash. So that puts a lot of pressure on him. He had to play around it. He did get a good couple good. He switched to Tyranitar there, you know, to take the Ice Beam early on. That was good. Um, when I got the burn and put him within KO range of another Scald in the rain, that was that was helpful. I didn't need this, the burn, though. The burn damage didn't put him within the two-shot. I had the two-shot on him as long as he was in the rain. He had to switch out to set up Sand again. And as soon as he set up Sand, I knew that with Garchomp, I just had to be faster to win. It's all about speed in this game. Not a lot of speed control in the format. That's why I have a Scarf on my Politoed. I often bring Politoed without even Kingdra. It's just so strong. It'll come out. It'll just do a good chunk of damage. No one will see it coming. It's so fast with a Scarf. It outspeeds Garchomp. That's really all you need to outspeed. And it'll come. You saw that Choice Banded Strength on um, Talonflame against Tyrantar. It almost one-shot it by itself. But I needed that double to KO because if he had attacked... Or, if, you know, because if he had attacked and I didn't get the KO on Tyranitar, Tyranitar would have killed one thing and I would have lost because Kingdra was slower than Garchomp. However, if I did kill the Garchomp, then I knew that I could have doubled up on um, Tyranitar and gotten the game. So that was really close. It was a good prediction, and that's what it comes down to. You got to think, if you were in their position, what would you do? And then you got to play off that. So I thought, like, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to protect. He's been, you watch him the whole game. He was playing pretty smart. He was playing smart. He wasn't playing the prediction game, though. There's two ways to play. There's the smart way to play, like, oh, he can KO here, and I need this to win, so I'm going to protect. And then there's the prediction, like, okay, I need the, I need this thing to KO to win. He can KO it here. However, is he going to think I'm going to protect? And then you decide to attack. Those are the two ways to play. There's no, there's no right way. Sometimes it's better to play one way. Sometimes it's better to play the other way. I played the prediction in that situation instead of playing the smart because I thought he'd play the smart. He did play the smart, and the predictions will won me the game. So, good game, good battle. Um, 1850, that's going to boost us a lot. So, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please tell me what you thought. If you like Mo Ro Tom, I know it didn't do a lot. But tell me what you think about the team, and I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.